Tibet has entered its golden age, at least according to China. On Sunday, the Chinese government published a paper ahead of the 50th anniversary of the founding of the Tibet Autonomous Region. The paper argues that under Chinese rule, Tibet's economic and social development have advanced by leaps and bounds. The vice chairman of Tibet said it was not only the education and medical systems which greatly improved, but also the region's ecological sector. We have set up a strict ecological environment protection scheme over the past 50 years, since the founding of the Tibet Autonomous Region. Through joint efforts in recent years, we can say proudly that Tibet is the only pure land in the world that is not polluted. We have the bluest sky, the whitest clouds, the most pristine mountains, the clearest waters, the brightest sunshine, and the cleanest air. Spanning over 1.2 million square kilometers, the region was formed in 1965, six years after the Dalai Lama fled to India following an uprising against Chinese rule, and 14 years after Tibet was annexed by China. Now the policies in Tibet are getting better. Great changes have taken place over the past 50 years. I wish for the motherland to be prosperous. Human rights groups say China has violently tried to stamp out religious freedom and culture in Tibet, and that autonomy in the region exists in name alone. China rejects the criticism, saying its rule has brought development to a backward region. Still, Tibet remains under heavy security, with visits by foreign media tightly restricted, making an independent assessment of the situation almost impossible.